What is up guys, welcome back to a FIFA 21 video. Now today I've got a quick one, we're doing a few longer ones, a few longer videos. Today we've got a short video, basically what you need to know in terms of promo dates for the first month. So essentially, uh, what days like the team week, the player of the month, ultimate scream, those kind of big promos at the start of the game are coming out. But if you do enjoy this video, please smash it a big thumbs up. It's well, it's more than FIFA 21 for absolutely free. There'll be a giveaway link in the top line of the description and the pinned comment, feel free to enter them. I'm announcing the winner to them on the 14th of September, so in like 12 days time. Uh, but with that being said, let's head over on to the video. Okay, so first of all, this image you can see on the screen right now is made from OD underscore foot underscore trading over on Instagram. Uh, it's actually a really nice graphic, you know, simple, gets to the point. And well, his page is really good on Instagram, really informative, some really good posts on there as well. So again, I'll, I'll try and leave a link to that in the description. If you want to follow him on Instagram, uh, I highly recommend it. Now, I'll start off, we've got the Team of the Week promo on the 29th of September. So if you don't know, the web app is rumored to come out on the 29th of September. September, therefore the team of the week is going to come out on the same day as the web app so for example say Mertens gets in the team of the week, uh, if you pack Mertens you won't get his normal gold card you'll get the inform card, so the first team of the week comes out on the same day as the web app and just for that clarification I believe on the 30th of October, so the day after the web app, uh, EA Access is room to come out, which again, that's a, that's a whole new conversation. I'll have videos on my channel if you want to check them out, like about what is EA Access, how to use your, your EA Access wisely, stuff like that. Uh, but EA Access on the 30th, uh, 29th of October, we've got the web app, so basically the next day after the web app. Moving on, we've got the One Torch promo on the 9th of October. Uh, now this is obviously just over a week after the full release of the web app so on the web app we don't really get any promos uh, like from like the web app to the full release of the game now just again to put into context the one to watch promo which is like the second main promo if you include team of the week is uh, actually on the same day as the release of FIFA 21 Standard Edition. So obviously he bought the Champions Edition or the Ultimate Edition, you get the game three days early compared to the Standard Edition. So you get the game on the 6th of October, but the actual full Standard Edition release is on the 9th of October, and so is the one shot promo. Again, this is because EA offered, uh, he pre-ordered the game, uh, I, I think the offer is gone now, but he pre-ordered the game, uh, you've got a free untradeable one to watch card. Now obviously if the game comes out on the 9th of October You the EA have to give you that one to watch card on the 9th of October uh, as a pre-order bonus So that's why they're on the same days uh, Moving on we've got the Premier League per the month on the 9th of October as well If you remember on FIFA 20 it was Timu, Timu Puki and I believe it was about 20 to 30k Absolute bargain at the time in my opinion you know, again, it was a new card design in the game. Everyone wanted to just like have a, a cool looking special card on their team. So many people are playing uh, Premier League start teams as well. Uh, so I remember I came up against a lot of team of Pookies, despite his stats not even being that good. But you know, just because it was like the first big SBC, it was a different looking card. Quite a few people did him. Now moving on, three days later, on the 12th of October, we've got the La Liga Player of the Month. Three days after that, on the 15th of October, we got the League of the Month. And finally, on the 16th of October, a day after the League of One, we've got the Bundesliga Player of the Month. So to break that down, essentially we have four Player of the Month SBCs all coming out within the space of a week. So to be honest with you, from the web app on, for example, the end of September, you basically have about one and a half weeks to try and get as many coins as you can from trading, from squad battles, from division rivals. Uh, to, to essentially, if you want to do a lot of these Player of the Month SBCs, the first one and a half weeks, you've got to grind on the market grind the game to get yourself some coins. Uh, again, I will post some videos on Team of the Week investments based on that Team of the Week release on the first day of the web app. I'll be doing investments on them. I'll probably even do a prediction video on who I think will get into that Team of the Week. Uh, so there are the six main pros at the start of the game. Ultimate Scream, just for context, in FIFA 20 came out on the 18th of October. Uh, obviously, this FIFA is delayed. Now, off the top of my head, I can't remember how, how long it's delayed by. I think it's about two weeks, so say it's two weeks, uh, it'll be two weeks later than last year, pretty much. Uh, so obviously last year was the 18th of October, two weeks is 14 days, so pretty much you can come out on the 2nd uh, of the next month if FIFA 21 is delayed by two weeks. 
if, if that makes any sense to you guys. Uh, but yeah, he did enjoy the video, he did find it useful. Uh, please smash like, drop a story count already, and turn on post notifications to get notified when I do upload a new video.